everyone and welcome to Kitchen Creations. Today what we're going to do is prepare a spiral puff pastry with an apple cinnamon filling. I've already prepped my apples, I've peeled and diced them and it's pretty much about a half an inch. I don't want them to be too large because if it's too large um, it will pop the pastry and they can have leakage. I also have my sugar, flour, I'm going to add a little bit of crushed pineapple just to give it a little different flavor. Um, I'm adding cardamom, cinnamon, some walnuts, and of course the butter that I still have in, in the refrigerator. I'm trying to keep it cool. I've already prepared our puff pastry. Um, you can refer to one of my videos which I've done in the past and you'll find the recipe there. So here are all our ingredients and let's get ready to cook. To begin I'm going to start with half a cup of butter. I'm going to add my butter into the pan and let it start melting my butter. I'm going to add three-thirds of the butter into the pan. Let it melt. So my butter is pretty much melted and I'm ready to add my flour. I'm adding a quarter cup of flour and I'm incorporating it as I go along so you don't have lumps. I am now ready to add my apples. What I did is I have four apples. I use golden apples. And I peeled off the skin. I have Dice them into like, that's about a half an inch cubes. The apples cook a little bit, but you don't want the flame to be too high because your flour will burn. Just keep stirring. And at this point, I'm gonna add the, back, the remainder of my butter. Here's where we now add all our flavors. I'm gonna start with my cinnamon. Guys, and I really am measuring for your benefit, but normally I will just wing. So I'm doing half a teaspoon of cinnamon. quarter teaspoon of cardamom. Want to get it all incorporated. Just let it simmer on a low heat at this point until my apples start getting a little soft. And to that I'm having half a cup of sugar. We need thick filling. Don't need it to be runny because it'll leak out of our pastry. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is zest lemon. So I'm just getting some of the zest of this lemon and then I'll add a little bit of the lemon juice as well. It's nothing like a smell of lemon. Incorporating it in. And I'm also going to I'm gonna add 
I would say about a teaspoon of lemon, or lemon juice. And again, without zester, I'm going to add some nutmeg. And we're almost ready. Thicken a little, and if I feel like I need to add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up a little more, I will do that. And now what I'm going to do is add, I'm adding two tablespoons of squash pineapple. Stir that in. Another minute or so and we should be ready. So once this is done, we're going to have to let it cool. And once it cools, then we can start filling into our dough. And after that, we'll fry the dough. So I think we're pretty much ready. I just tasted this and I think to my taste, I'd like to add a little bit, a little more of my cinnamon. I am, it's up to you. Now I'm going to add my walnuts and this is the consistency you want it to be because once it cools it'll also get a little bit more thick. So we're going to allow this to cool and we'll be back to fill. My filling is cool and it's in a pretty decent consistency. It's not runny and I am ready to fill my pastry. I filled a few already. Let me show you a little bit of what the pastry looks like with the lamination. And I will cut into this one here. And there you have it. You can see. Okay, and let's get ready to fill. I'm gonna add a little flour to my board. And I am just pressing. I'm getting a little bit of the flakes because I had frozen this. I'm going to roll out a little. Let's move these on here. Roll. If it's too thick, it is going to take a long time to fry and you may have raw dough on the inside. So this is pretty good. At this point, I'm gonna dust off my flour. It's about, I would say, a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. Three-sixteenths. Again, here you see all the spiral happening. On both sides. You're not putting a lot in here. You're just putting just a dab. What I like to do now is just and press it down. Half, fold it in half and I press my edges down. And now we press, fold, press, fold, press, fold. And you continue around. I dust out the extra flour. You don't want that flour in when we go to fry. I'm checking on this because I'm hearing a little crackling, so I want to see if there could be some moisture coming out of one of these pastries, and it's possibly that's what's happening, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more just to get a little grilled in and we should be okay. the remainder of our pastries. Nice light golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
I am continuing to sift my confectioner's sugar. So my sugar is sifted, and to that I'm going to add only two ingredients. One is three tablespoons of heavy cream, and one third teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna mix until it comes to a smooth consistency. Keep mixing. And you want it to be a little runny because we're gonna drizzle this over our pastry. And you can see it's a little thick. I'm gonna to need to bring in some warm milk. Okay, so I'm adding another three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. You can use a mixer for this, but I'm just going to do this by hand at this point. I'm just going to keep mixing until I get my nice smooth consistency. And it's almost there. And there you have it. We're going to have to wait until our pastry is cool, and then we can add our frosting. And our pastries are cool now, and I'm going to get ready to do my icing drizzle. Just want to add a little sugar onto this. And I'm just going to drizzle some on here. So we're ready. They're cooled. I'm just going to place a few on the plate. And there you have it. So everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on Kitchen Creations. And here's our final product, our puff pastry with an apple pie filling. Again, this is a new recipe, something I thought of and I said let's try it after making the samosas. Get to try it and enjoy it. Here's one of our pastries, I'm just going to break it open and you can hear the crunch of this pastry. Thank you for joining Kitchen Creations today. It's been a pleasure. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward, as always, to seeing you on our next video. Have a great day.